Hey everybody, welcome to the Real World Prepper. So I spent some time with my uh, neighbor tonight, one of my neighbors, and uh, one who I rely on, one who I expect to be there uh, as a confidant, as a an ally. <clears throat> you know, in SHTF, and I was encouraged by our visit. His brother was there as well, who lives in a town very nearby, uh, in, I don't know, I guess in kind of a city, we'll say, close to a city, in, in a city environment, uh, a suburb of a city that is still a city environment, and, uh, that will be falling back to to the neighbor's house. Uh, we had a discussion about what that looks like in terms of the greater group. Myself, this neighbor, the other people around us that we've made connections with and, and formed bonds with in terms of what it looks like after the collapse. You can look into my house right there. Boom. Kitchen. Uh, it was encouraging. It really was. It was, uh, it was a good visit, good times, good people. I'm sitting out here, uh, under a solar light. That is a solar light that is casting down before you. We, uh, we've incorporated a lot of solar here as much as we can and uh, as much as we're able to. And uh, of course we're growing our garden, raising our chickens. We've got fruit trees, nut trees, berry trees, uh, bushes rather, um, and lots of stuff in the garden. We're doing all the things. We're continuing to do all the things to prep, to be able to sustain ourselves. We're stacking things up. Uh, that is never ending. As I'm looking at the uh, the stash today, in fact, uh, assessing it today, there's a lot of holes that need to be filled. Uh, canned goods, dry goods, beans, rice, etc. I can do more, and I need to do more, and I'm working on doing more. But I will say it is a daunting task. Uh, any of you guys who are doing this know this to be true. It is a daunting task. It is never ending. Uh, this is not, I've always maintained that prepping, as it were, is not, uh, it's not an end goal. It is a way of life. And <laughs> I'm here to tell you it's absolutely true. What I'm saying, it is a way of life. It is not an end goal. <clears throat> so, I hope you guys are doing the same things. I, I really believe time is short. You know, I'm going to speak to something that, that, that started this whole channel, that started this whole movement of mine uh, to be able to, uh, or rather to, uh, to come on here and, and share any of this stuff with you guys. And it was back in uh, 2011, November, I truly believe that I was spoken to by God. I, I know for, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, that, that God spoke to me. And he told me to put up my stores. He told me to prepare for the times that are going to be lean, that are coming soon. Now, I have learned <laughs> patience. Uh, we've had a child in that time frame, which we didn't have at the time of the message, the initial, me an initial message from God to me about prepping. We didn't have a child prior, and uh, we do now. And I even, I remember pleading to God, like, why, why would you, why send me a child when you've sent me this other message about being prepared because times are going to be lean? Why, you know, anyway, I've reconciled that, uh, many years ago it's coming guys 
if you if you do not see it already you're really watching the wrong video I maintain and expect that most of you if not all of you see and recognize what it is I'm speaking about we see the fall of our civilization coming we see the fall of our society coming we see the fall of our nation coming we see the rising of the gas prices the rising of the the, the food prices the the uh, continuing unavailability of shipping methods and and availability in in products in general where do you think this is going to leave us and now couple in that GM and Ford both supposedly have have promised that come 2030 or 2035 at the latest they're going to have all electric vehicles in their production line yet we have no infrastructure to to support all electric vehicles perhaps in the next eight years 12 10 years whatever perhaps that will happen I doubt it even still if we do those electric vehicles will have to be powered by coal or fossil fuel powered uh, power plants so how does that work okay whole nother question but what I see if they do go forward with this if they do indeed you know there's only electric vehicles uh, uh, available for purchase in the new market right used market is what it is but if there's only electric vehicles in the uh, used vehicle or in the new vehicle market rather there's going to be a bunch of them purchased and infrastructure will not be able to maintain it so there will be blackouts and brownouts just as there have been in California there's a good test state for you a test run everything that happens in California is eventually going to migrate to the east okay just so you know if you didn't already know there you go always has been presumably will be so if that's the case then you're looking at it doesn't have to be an EMP or a CME all it has to be is something to tax your power system your power grid to the point to where you don't have power or they maintain or uh, rather dictate well you can have power between this hour and that hour on any given day otherwise you're on your own this is what we prepare for this is why we do what we do I don't know what else to say about this folks I'm almost tired of saying it get yourself ready get yourself prepared grow your food raise livestock in any capacity that you can have means of providing your own power your own fuel your own gumption because it ain't gonna be provided for you I'm the real world prepper and I approve this message under solar lighting good night